Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Zero, and welcome to Sophie's Curse. Sophie's Curse is about being a nurse in a house with no power, blinking generator lights, and a ghost girl that really wants to kill you. Hello. Please forgive me. I was in a hurry and couldn't wait for you to arrive. Thank you so much for taking the gig. A lot of people turn me down because they believe the place is haunted. <laughs> Can you believe that? My grandpa's already asleep. He's a heavy sleeper, probably a murderer, so he probably won't wake up during the night. But it's best to have you in there just in case he needs help going to the bathroom or something. Please ignore all the mess in the house. It's our first day in there, and I spent most of the day setting up my lighting devices, because there's no electricity in the house. Apparently the wires in the house are very old and need to be replaced. Luckily, I created these lighting devices a few months back. Now is the perfect time to test them out. I showed them they won't work just fine, which they won't. My devices were almost ready to hit the market. I set four devices and two on each floor. Should be enough. Come up with charge for 12 hours. They absolutely won't. We know that. <laughs> and they should have to worry about that. Please keep an eye on them. Devices go out, give you an error. Use computer to reset it. Fix it if you don't. Whole system might fail. Pick her to move. Computer. Right click to recharge. Alright. Now, I have played a little bit of this game already, so I have a general understanding of the mechanics, and I actually lost the recording on that. So, um, I'm not completely blind initially, I didn't get that too far, so, uh, I'm not quite sure how this game is gonna mix it up towards the end. But the save room is A, and it's essentially what it sounds like. It is the only place that is safe at the moment. Kinda, anyway. I think you can still get murdered there. But I think it's safe in the sense that if something goes really bad, it's your last place to retreat. A is going down a little bit, just keep that going. Gotta go back to D. A lot of ring around in the house. I don't like those stairs. The stairs feel very bad. Specifically because the stairs are dark. These weakening a little bit. Top that off. And let's hang out at A for a little bit. He's going down again. You know, I don't, don't know why we have these little light things and not a traditional generator. These feel like so redundant. A simple generator could have done this. B is weakening. Now D. Which means I'm going to have to go up here. Take the long walk. She's kind of alternating between uh, B and uh, D right now. Now C's going down. I hear like some movement. Seems fine. We should be hitting 8 o'clock pretty soon. Just stare at the light. The light is safe. The light brings safety. Checkpoint. <laughs> I'm assuming if somebody wants to murder me, it comes out now. Uh, let's check here. Safe room D. Checkpoint at 10. So, uh, ironically, the first floor, we don't want to be here. And we definitely don't want to be here. Let's just hang out here for the moment. Nope, D's going down anyway. Let's go over there. Shit, A's down. We gotta go fix it. 
Alright, don't murder me in the process, please. Alright, fix A. Turn on all switches. Get these things green. Gotta move fast. I don't think we're safe while we're here. Two, seven, zero, four, six. Clear. It changed on me at the last second. Six, seven, three, four. Enter. Turn these. Clear. C is going way down. We need to go look at that up right now. And D. We can't let D go down no matter what. I heard the spooky noise. I'm about to be killed, aren't I? No. That's coming soon enough, though. <laughs> A. Fix you up. There you go, little buddy. Get you charge up and we'll leave. Come back to D. Hopefully it's still the same safe room and I haven't been that boozled. How safe is a safe room? I have no idea. I'm just hang out here, staring at the light. We can sound those sheets. There's sheets in here. With a little weird thing, then I guess that's the grandfather. And then there's the shower curtains in the bathroom, which I don't like. Oh god, two things are going down. Shit. Do I go? I have to. I gotta recharge these, I can't leave them be. Not the smartest thing I've done. Okay, recharge B and leave. Oh god. D's- I need to save D! If I don't, I'm dead. This is a safe room, oh my god. Green, green. Green. Okay, eight, 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 seven, nine. Good. Click these out. Exit. Let's go. We need to charge up A a little bit and get out. Go save C. Charge, 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 charge. Could be top topped off, because that's my last retreat. Shit. Okay, save B. Just breaking everywhere. I don't like this. If it's gonna murder me, it's gonna be soon. If I move, I hear noise. Just sit. I'm gonna move now. Don't jump scare me. Alright. D. And B. I hear noise. I'm 100% sure there's gotta be a sound tell how safe I am. Alright, I was murdered. Uh, I'm not sure if just seeing the thing murders you or if it's completely damn random. I didn't really have any sound tells, I just saw the power going down. Uh, no sound tells that sound distinct enough anyway. I should check, check, check. A is the safe room this time anyway. I actually prefer that a little bit. <laughs> Fucking A. So that's it for uh, Sophie's Curse. I may do another video of this if I can figure out the mechanics a bit more. I've actually, in my, during my test run, I actually got to um, past 10 a.m. with no problems, like no jump scares, no nothing, uh, no danger whatsoever, and I got almost to the next time limit before finally getting killed randomly. So. This time around, I'm getting killed pretty much constantly, like, every time I try to play it now, I'm getting almost, almost killed as soon as I spawned. 
with a jump scare or something, and I, I'm trying to listen to for sound cues. I haven't been able to quite figure that out yet. There's been a few different sound cues. Maybe they all mean the same thing in that it's nearby and it's going to kill you. And I'm not quite sure if it's a wrong place, wrong time situation. So I have to play this game a little bit more, see if I can get further. Um, if I do, then I will make another video of this. But um, for the most part, I like this game. I think it's pretty tense. I like the kind of movement and the kind of darkness around the corners and stuff like that, and the atmosphere. Um, just right now, I don't fully understand the mechanics, like I said. And I'm not sure if I'm missing something fully. I should maybe turn my speakers up some more. See what happens. Because uh, I really like to see the ending of this game and seeing how it uh, kind of amps up or changes up towards the end, maybe. Maybe she, like, appears more often. But we'll see. Anyway. So, thank you all for watching me playing Sophie's Curse. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.